Hello, 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 hello. Hello. What's going on, everybody? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Welcome to another episode of He Says She Said. Okay, you got to really kind of come up on it. <laughs> got to come up on it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do this. Excuse me, but I got a question. <laughs> Uh, what's going on everybody hey, what's going hey. on <laughs> we just playing around here no hey everybody yep. hey, 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 hey 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 how's everybody doing happy sunday happy sunday it's raining it's cold it's it is officially fall. sweater weather sweater weather yes let's say that for sure for sure yep. it is officially fall as it is usual fall. we have a couple different cameras going on yep we got it going on <laughs> oh, I didn't. Okay, wait. Did you even do your you are and I am? Oh, 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 oh. you are. <laughs> That's not how this works. <laughs> okay, let's start along. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. She said, I am Anthony Williamson, and she is Kim Williamson, better oh, known as KD. Better known as KD. Yeah, Woo! well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We just being silly, y'all. We just being silly. We, we just being silly. Y'all happy to be here another Sunday. Another Sunday. Yes. It is fall in Indianapolis. It's yes. raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's chilly. You can tell by the sweatshirt. By the sweatshirt. <laughs> yep. It means it something. It is um, fall. It's fall. It the, is fall. So have you uh, switched out your... Uh, my closet? Yeah. Yep. I'm done. Oh. I'm done. I got a few things to add to it, but for the most part, I'm done. Okay. What about yourself? No, I haven't started. I started. You started. I started. Okay. I started. It's a process. All right. It's a process. It takes some time. Takes some time. It takes some time. Yeah. But no, uh, like I said, this sweatshirt is always out. But no, I did. Yep. I did some switching already. Took some definite, like true short sleeves, okay. shorts, things like that. You okay. Know, those are those are packed up and getting getting ready now yeah just have to do the rest of it so all right yeah how was your weekend well, my weekend was a uh a normal weekend okay not to spectrum no take that back okay yeah get some pep in your step no i got some pep in my step okay. no I, I i drew a blank there <laughs> we went to a what do you want to call it a book release yep. book signing book book uh launch, a, a dear friend of ours uh wrote his first book uh, it is a spiritual reading book. Yep. Uh, I got started today. I'm on chapter two already. Ooh, okay. uh, the name of the book is Running Back to Glory. Okay. And I'll show it to you oh, here. Wow, it's a great looking book. Yep. See it there? Yep. See it there? Yep. yep. Uh, written by Dr. David T. Lee. <laughs> I'm used to calling him Dr. Lee. Yep. Uh, but it's a great spiritual book. Uh, it's a book that you can purchase on Amazon. Uh, I suggest if you're looking for some good reading, yep. uh, this is a great book. And again, I just started reading the book, but it tells the story of uh, two friends who are on different paths okay. uh, um, and uh, uh, they circle back around and meet up with each other. And they're at different points in their lives. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to give too much of it away because you may <laughs> want to go on Amazon and purchase I the book. Should, yeah. uh, but it's 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 a great read, uh, spiritual read. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to let you guys know how it is uh, when I finish. Yes. When, I, when I finish. So, so yeah, it was uh, great, running back to glory. It was a great event yeah. last night and just very um, spiritual and very, very spiritual. casual at yep. the same time. It was like, um, you know, just getting to know people and talking yeah. and um, just meeting a lot of different new people. Yeah. Being and in a different surrounding. So kind and nice. And yeah. um, they totally matched the um, friend circle of, of the writer. Yeah. Dr. Lee and his wife. Yeah. Um, I mean, all of the friends seem just like them. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not as cool nice, as people. nice people. Yeah. Nice people. Nice uh, people. So that was good. Super cool. But yeah. Um, yeah. But no, it was awesome. And uh, so, yeah, we have a great weekend. And uh, so let's get into it. We are excited yeah. to be with you guys. Um, we're trying a couple different platforms. Yep. So let us know if anything is different. Like if you go on to um, Anthony's site, my site, he said, she said, and it's yep. not what you're used to. Um, that was something us, we're trying to let us know because we're yeah. trying kind of a streaming 
platform, platform yeah. so that we can send it to different places. Yeah, so far everything looks like it's going fine. Yeah. Uh, we got the green check marks there, so That's everything right. is looking good. We've got our ticker back. If you uh, notice at the bottom of the screen, we're looking more official. We got a couple more dollars added to the budget, mm -hmm. so we're able to do some things. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, now. So, uh, so, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's get to the top five list. Yeah. Uh, this week, I'm going to do the top five list. Woo uh, woo -woo. Yeah, doing big things. big things. She's letting me do big things. <laughs> so on the top five list, top five, top five things I stopped doing since being in a relationship. Uh -oh. Top five things I stopped doing uh -oh. since being in a relationship. So, yeah, listen close. Okay. Listen close. <laughs> No particular order, okay. just running off five. Five it. particular things I stopped doing since being in a relationship. Okay. Number five, five, staying up late. Remember when we first started kicking it? Yeah. And it was one o'clock, two o'clock oh, yeah. in the morning. Easy. Now, like about, 11 o'clock, we were just getting started. And yeah. I'm talking about even during the week. Yeah. I mean, during the week, yeah. we would probably talk on the phone till at least midnight. Oh, most definitely. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. But uh, now, <laughs> around 8.45, one eyelid starts going down. Uh, about 9.15, <laughs> the other one starts kind of going down. <laughs> By 10 o'clock, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm out. 10 o'clock, we call ourselves watching the 10 o'clock news. Yeah, okay. and it's watching like us. Older people do. Yeah. And uh, just we're saying we're trying to see the weather. Yeah. With some immediate news, and we may be, we may be back to 10.15, <laughs> Might, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, don't stay up late anymore. Okay. number five. Number five. Number four, four, coming home late at night. We don't stay out as late as we used to. Too bad. Too so bad. don't stay out late like that anymore so that's i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing so this is just my list yeah. number three number three yes. going to the nightclub slash strip club Ooh, okay. can i still do it yeah do it. is that the right yeah my wrist wrist a little sore Aww. it ain't it don't flick like it like it used to like it used to but now I can throw coins. I ain't, I ain't got no dollars. To <laughs> uh, go to the strip club. Coins. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, so, so um, going no to desire. Club no, no club. desire since okay. being in a relationship. Okay. Just no. Not okay. that there's anything wrong with it. I, I just for me, I just don't have a desire to go. Okay. So, uh, that was number three. Number two, being as selfish. I'm not as selfish as I used to be. Okay. Uh, because I'm in a relationship, because I have to think about somebody else, I'm not as selfish as I used to be. Yeah. Hey, Nedra. So. Hey, Jazzy. Hey, what's hey, going on? True that. I true that. that in a long time. True that. True that. True that. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. Old school. <laughs> All right. And number one on the top okay, sorry, five. Being selfish. I didn't want to being that. selfish. I being agree. selfish. I'm not as selfish because I'm in a relationship. I have to think about someone else. Mm -hmm. I'm not as selfish as I used to be. A lot of it. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and number one on the top five list, yes. answering phone calls from exes late at night. That has not ever <laughs> happened in our relationship, but just saying, if it, I don't answer late phone calls. Okay. I don't get them. Okay. So, but if, you did, if you I did, I, I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's the top five list. Things I stopped doing since being in a relationship. Okay. My top five. So. Those are good. Those are, those would be, I could agree with all of those. Now, yeah, going out to the nightclub, strip club, maybe not that one, but just yeah. going out to yeah. in those kinds of environments per se. You know. I mean? Well, I, I don't have a desire to do that because I love being at home and my home offers a nice patio. It offers a, a, a nice TV to watch. It, it offers comfort. Yeah. It's, so, you know, once I'm home, I'm comfortable. So I don't, yeah. I don't feel like yeah. getting out like okay. that. Hey, so, Carolyn. hey, Carolyn. Hey. Uh, so that's my top five list okay. for this week. Top five. Top five. I like it. Up top. Up top. Bam. Bam. Okay. All right. So I like it. I like it. I like it. I you like it. it. I like it. All right. So things, things we stopped doing 
when being in a relationship. Okay, when so being in a relationship. on to the topic. Oh, let's get to it. This one's kind of juicy, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's um, the care. We're going to talk about like characteristics of an ideal mate. Yes. Um, and things that um, people are looking for. And right? that people are looking for. And would love people to weigh in. So yes. anyone who's online, weigh in. People after the fact, if you're watching this on a replay, still put yes. your comments in because we still check them out. Yeah. Um, but no, would love to to get different people's perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, this came out of, you guys probably saw um, a TikTok video or Instagram video or something of a girl that um, a woman that was taken to <laughs> for her first date was taken to Cheesecake Factory and she didn't want to get out the car. And she had an issue with that. Right. She had an issue. She didn't want to get out the car. And so we, of course, we were like, these are the kind of things where we're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, first and, of all, who has a problem with going to Cheesecake Factory? I know. Can we just get a show? Of, I mean, like anyone. Is any, I wouldn't, I mean, now, unless you just don't like the Cheesecake Factory, but even that, I mean, if you didn't say that in your, you know, however you guys set up the first date, if you didn't say, oh, by the way, last time the Cheesecake Factory got real sick, I'm not, I'm not into it. But the Cheesecake Factory has never been related to being a cheap place to no, go. No, I, I agree with you. I, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just laying the foundation that, yeah. I mean, unless it's a place, everyone can like a place, but if you had a bad experience there, that's your bad experience. Right, right. right. But that wasn't what it appeared to be. It no. appeared to be that she didn't like because she thought it should be a more expensive. Product. More expensive. And um, at first, I just kept hearing about the video, but then yeah. I, I found it this morning and I watched. It. Okay. <laughs> and you know, she's like, "Does someone who looked as good as that looks like this would go to cheese? Would go to a chain restaurant?" And I'm like, "Dang! Oh wow! Not only cheesecake restaurant, you just are eliminating any chain." <laughs> right. <laughs> It needs to be like a, it can't even be a chain steakhouse. I mean, like, <laughs> I, w I was really lost once I saw the video. I felt even yeah. more conflicted or, or whatever. Yeah. So anyway, I that is kind of what, you know, made us talk during um, during the week about just, like, where are people? Where are people at right now? <laughs> and are they being realistic? Yeah. Right. That, that's the key. Right. Are, are you being realistic? Are people being realistic? Right. When it comes to the characteristics right. that they choose to have when it comes to picking someone to be in a relationship with. Right. Definitely. So. Nedra said, I love the Cheesecake Factory. Um, she's probably a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> that should be his clue not to take her out again. Yeah. And then the video. That, that now, some people are saying the video is staged because, I mean, it's TikTok. You know, yeah. a lot of people do stage videos just mm -hmm. to get watches or views or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, um, by the way, this is real. This is really us. <laughs> yeah, this is really <laughs> us. Meaning we're real people. We're yeah, real yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but um, she she says she don't want to get out of the car or whatever. And then he says, like, he says he wants to talk about it. And then he ends up saying, well, you know, I could just take you home. Which I can mm -hmm. stay. And so that's, of course, what everyone is making comments on is, you know, you dodged a bullet. Oh, man, you, you know, yeah. lucky you for yeah. finding out, that kind of thing. But, you know, it definitely got us talking like, is that realistic? What what like let's just take that for example. Mm -hmm. Basing going on the first date and judging the guy because he took you to Cheesecake Factory. What does that really say about anything that you're probably supposed to be looking for? <laughs> right. I mean, mm, you, good point. What, what are you really looking for? So that's yeah. kind of the the take I had on it. And mm. Wanted to kind of say, okay, so what is it that people are looking for? Right. And, right. Okay, so if he took you to a really expensive restaurant, what would that say about the person that Cheesecake Factory didn't say? I mean, the guy right. seemed to be a nice guy and everything, but did that say he has money? I mean, you you want it, obviously it's related to how much money he can spend, right? In your opinion, right? And then. You know that I guess you got all dolled up, and you feel that you want to um, really. What did Jazzy say? Apparently, in the video, he had reservations for a five-star restaurant, but she made them late for the reservations, so he had oh. to go with another option. Oh, I didn't. Oh, see that okay. Part. okay. I didn't see that part. Okay. Okay. Um, so thanks, okay. Jazz, for that. Interesting. What's so, going on, Mr. Sullivan? Still, that doesn't um, commitment starts with the heart. I know that's right. Yeah. So and and. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sullivan, for that, because I actually have some 
some information about um, the about uh, characteristics in the good partner and commitment is one of those. But can I also ask something? How how high should you set the bar coming out the gate? Uh -huh. uh, you know, I've heard I, I've heard people say, well, first date, you know, I might take you to White Castles. Then we 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 build up, you know. But I mean that, and that's being fun. Well, this person, there okay. is. Okay. I wouldn't do that, but okay. I might be in the middle of the road somewhere. Okay. But if you really think about it, you know, how high do you want to come out? Yeah. You know. If you come out starting with Ruth Chris or Sullivan's, I mean, where do you go from there? Right. So uh, are you setting yourself up for failure right. or uh, higher expectation? Setting it, right, setting it way too high. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. So, right. you know, yeah. What do you, what do you think? No, I totally agree with that. And um, so where do you go on a first date? All and, right. Uh, and Mr. Sullivan said to whatever bar is set, make sure you or them or, can live up to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I yeah. agree. I agree. <laughs> that you said not White Castle. Okay. So <laughs> they got we, good coupons. White Castle has coupons? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Not sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, so we wanted to talk about like the the characteristics. Yes. And what is that really saying about someone? So we've all kind of heard people say things like, okay. I want um, a person that has that makes six figures, mm -hmm. and is six one or taller. That he's buff and fine, and um, yeah. all those things. And so when you say stuff like that, so like again, sometimes women say things like Oop, six figures, uh -huh. sorry about that. six uh -huh. figures, six one or or taller, buff, fine. You know, he got to uh -huh. dress nice. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. When so, what's the guy version of that? How how would what do you guys say? Keep it clean. <laughs> I keep the, it PG. To, keep to, it PG. Almost definitely. To be honest with you, all joking aside, I think guys think different. They approach it different. Okay. Uh, when we were other guys, we talk a lot of lot of stuff. Okay. We talk a lot of stuff. Okay. But when it comes to being in a relationship or choosing a person to be in a relationship our our standards aren't aren't like that it's they they aren't okay it's it, it's it's more emotional okay. if, if there's an emotional connection a lot of that stuff goes out the window okay again when guys are together oh man i you know i want a brick house she gotta okay. have that's this this that so no that's that, and that's yeah, yeah i got that's you what, that's what women say too yeah. Whether it's to themselves or what have you. So yeah, tell yeah. me about that though. Is it like okay, brick house banging? What, what's the what's the lingo? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, but but the point that I'm making it kind of goes out the window. Yeah. Uh, now I've heard women, and I know of women who were very adamant, six foot tall, light skin, uh, got to have a nice car, uh, have their own house. Uh, I've heard these comments, right. uh, and I've seen it in action. Uh, one one young lady that I know that spoke like that, mm -hmm. she ended up with a guy that was about five seven, dark skin, was jumping from job to job, but he was so good with her kids, right. and it just it turned things for her. Right. Uh, but and on the flip side of that, I've been around guys who, again, they've talked that yeah. you know, uh, brick house, light skin. You know, da 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 da, da. and then, but behind closed doors, you know, she really do care for me. She really do oh. love me. So, mm -hmm. I, I I think the the standards that the guy set, and I'm just talking from experience, yeah. uh, my experiences, and being around other people. Uh, for the guys, it's it's kind of an illusion. It's kind of a, mm -hmm. you know, just talk. But if they're around somebody, meet somebody that you know, shows affection or uh -huh. what have you, they kind of just fall into that. Okay. So, so Bernie had said, um, men love realistically, women love idealistically. Perfect. Dang. I couldn't have said it better. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and then uh, Frank said, fact. So, but like, so what you're saying, I agree that so mm -hmm. people have these ideas, right? And characteristics. Yeah. And I yes. want looks, I want money, I yes. want her to, I want him, him or her to cook. 
or to do this or the, and not that those things are important. And of course, having um, a physical connection is important right? yes. and all those kinds of things. But like, I think it's important for um, when people are ready to get serious, you know, I mm-hmm. mean, like, so mm-hmm. the, when, when I saw the video or even just the idea of it all, right. Yeah. Or even people who are still saying, I want someone who has six figures. He has to be this tall. He has to be buff or fine, dressed nice, always mm-hmm. have on the newest Jordans. You know, a guy says a woman has to be a brick house. She has to, you know, do this, be that, do that. I think like you're still kind of fooling yourself. <laughs> on, okay. Are you trying to still, um, are you trying to really find someone? Are you trying to just date, have fun, whatever? Because I, I think yeah. those two kind of, not that they can't coexist because you can, you can want what you want, but feel Fill, fill in there with some of the other stuff. And right, I think right. we've all either been there in our younger years mm-hmm. or know people now who still stick with a lot of those physical things or the money and things like that. And so, you, you know, it's like, okay, if I said, okay, well, six figures and then, you right. know, hope he dresses nice, but I hope he's nice. I hope he loves his family. I mean, like you don't hear people weave those in all the time. Not right. People don't, but I think that's really the common ground. You know, you, it's okay to say what you want, but also, you know, in, in the, as we get older, people are kind of into, you know, self-reflection right. and, you know, what, what's really important. And so be honest with yourself. What does some saying someone needs to make six figures really say that you're actually looking for? I mean, seriously. Yeah. What, what does that mean? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When when we got together, you know, of course, I wasn't looking to be in a relationship. And then, you know, we got together. We got to know each other. Uh, in my mind, I've always there's a base that I've always stuck with. Uh, you know, I like a light skinned woman, fair skinned, uh, medium to long length hair, <laughs> uh, thick cut. I like a thick. <laughs> uh, that's that's just my preference on that. Now I love all women. I'm I I love women in general. But if we're in a room, Kim knows if a certain type walks in a room. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's you right there, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, and we can play we can play like that. But I I've always had kind of a a, a standard, yeah. but at the end of the day, for me, it was just being trying to find somebody yeah. who was going to accept me for me. Yeah, you could be tall, you could be short, you could be thin, you can be thick. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you're ready for a relationship, that's when the that, more characteristics come into play, right. not just things like, you know. Again, the thick cut, <laughs> the, 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 all those things, because those things are nice. I mean, and don't get yeah. me wrong. Again, the, the, the we all have a preference. Yeah, I and mean, and you have to be attracted to the person one way or the other. Right? Yeah, but you can also, you know, there's a lot of attraction, and I think we've talked about that before. Mm-hmm. That comes when you get to know people, and then you get to see their char- their true characteristics. Their true. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, the person. Um, I had a, a coworker even tell me recently. Like they, they thought their person was attractive, but like they really just love the person Mm -hmm. and that makes the person more and more attractive. Mm -hmm. So like, so the six figures, I was thinking about stuff like that. So is it that you're looking for stability, for example, does, does that equate to, okay, well, if they're making six figures, maybe they're stable yeah, or maybe they manage money well, Mm -hmm. or maybe um, that means I'm going to get the finer things in life or get really nice expensive gifts or we're going to travel and a, your person can make six figures and none of those things could happen. <laughs> I've, I've never like, under, you can mismanage 25,000 or you can mismanage 200 K. Well, I've, I've never understood why you think my six figures <laughs> is going to make you a better person what? becomes you yours. Have have, oh, in, in the beginning, it's definitely not. You know what? Right. Yeah, I mean, where yeah. where does that come from? <laughs> they have to have. Yeah. Because if they have to have, do you have to have, or yeah. is it right. solely as long as he's got it or she's got it, then I've got it? Right. Is that the mindset? I don't. I don't get that. Right. I don't. I don't. I, I don't get that. I and I think it's. I think it's something that's pretty. 
I don't, I, I think people, again, as we get older and better, and Nedra was saying, yeah, back in the day, but as she got older, she fell in love with her husband because he yeah. made her laugh. See, that kind of thing. I got a sense of humor. Oh, my goodness. Like, that could take you, you know, right over the top. Well, um, I mean, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off. That's okay. I, I was just thinking about Will and Jada and, and not the preach on their, their situation. Right. But if you look at that situation, he make he's he's definitely six figures. Yeah. He's tall. He's handsome. Mm -hmm. Can buy you the world, give you the world. Yeah. It's still not enough. Yeah. Still not enough. There's something there on an emotional level. Yeah. That's not clicking yeah. or did not click. Right. And now it's gone to something totally different. Yeah. But I'm only speaking in, in the terms of you have one person trying to offer someone yeah. the world and it wasn't enough. Yeah. No, so totally agree with that. And so like six figures, mm -hmm. the height, does that tell you, you know, do you feel more secure yep. if someone's tall? Is it that fairy tale to be honest? You know, we've talked about before, like even the idea of getting married and the wedding, and people get so caught up in that. I agree, Frank. Um, in the yeah, uh, Frank said um, being friends first. Being friends first is key. And I'm gonna get to my my list. Yeah. Um, the on the height, I was thinking, okay, you know how the kind of fairy tale is the guy's a little taller, and so when the girl, when the woman kisses, you're supposed to like, you know, go up and he comes down. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we're all caught up in these things, and it's like, but again, ask yourself, why? Why is that important? Is does it make me feel more secure if he's taller? Is it, you know, a fairy tale? You guys could say you could say on your end, you know, a woman with the good looks, yeah. is that really, because let's be honest, the kind of woman a guy has on his arm speaks to the guy. Right. The other guy. Yes. Right. It, right. So that's why you guys like a banger or you like a, a yeah. work house or what have you. Right. Yeah. Right that's thing. a guy thing. <laughs> Whatever the phrase is. So, um, hey, Lamont. And so it's, I think that's, you know what I mean? If, if we're yeah. going to start breaking things down, why do people want to say they want a brick house or those kinds of things? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, Phillips first, ever. first kiss yes. is, is big. Yeah. So, you know, you want to start asking yourself. I really think for people that are looking for someone, um, I think it's ask yourself what you're really looking for. And, and if it's some of these things, how and how is that done? We, when we were yeah. talking about it, you brought up a really good point. How's that gone? Right. Like, so let's say that you really do like that girl. Let's say that yeah. was a real video. If she's used to the five star steakhouses mm -hmm. and um, really getting jazzed up and making sure that, you know, she looks super fly mm -hmm. and you think a chain restaurant or you think anything like that is not, you know, your cup of tea. Right. How's that been going? Because, I mean, if she's going out on first date, we can only assume that she's not actively dating anyone right now. So you, you do have to kind of take stock of what it is. What, and right. um, But again, I'm not discounting some of those things. But I also think even when you're in your relationship, right? So now yeah. you're in a relationship with someone. And even some of the things that might have seen. Hey, Kristen. Was, even if it wasn't, hey, even if it wasn't six figures, the height, you know, what kind of car he drives, what kind of clothes yeah. he wears. But whatever was important in the very beginning are those things still important and or is it um, are you seeing characteristics that you're like, man, I didn't even know I really needed that. I mean, like that's how I think as our relationship evolved mm -hmm. and when I watch good friends of ours that have been married for many years, you know, mm -hmm. and some of them are on the video right now. It's like as you as you mature and mature in your relationship mm -hmm. there's characteristics where you're like okay six figures throw that out the window height throw that out the window because when things when times get tough that stuff ain't gonna matter i mean when what? times get tough the amount of money someone has if anything it'll help you with some you know resources but at the end of the day when you just need a shoulder to cry on and you or you need to feel like someone has your back like 10 toes down mm -hmm. All that stuff is like gone. Well, let me throw this out there. I think, you know, each person has to be realistic and take inventory of themselves. Okay. Uh, check your environment. 
Mm-hmm. You you want a person that's you know six figures. Do you travel in the circle where people are making six figures? You know, you want someone who's very successful. You want someone who has their own home. You wow. want someone yeah. uh, that has all of these things that you're listing off on your list. <laughs> they have to have. Yeah. Well, take inventory of your circle. Who's in your circle okay. that's making a hundred thousand? Yeah. That's doing that has all of these things that you want. Mm. So, how realistic mm. is your yeah. is your is your list? That's right. I mean, that's right. Sounds like a fantasy, you know, for a lot of yeah. people. Right. You know, now not that there's anything wrong with wanting that. Yeah. Uh, but if that's not the circle you travel in and you're putting that on the people that are in your circle, right. how fair is that and how realistic is that? No, that's right. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and like Christian was saying, make it make sense. Correct. And Correct. So true. Um, so the um I did a little research. Okay. <laughs> And um, so I, it, it was a top 10 list of what's really important in a good partner. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Here yep. we go. Okay. So what's really important in a good partner? Um, emotional intimacy. Mm. That was deep. Um, physical affection. Respect. Yeah. Commitment. Commitment. Uh, shout commitment. out to, uh, I think Mr. Sullivan said that up early on. Yeah. Make sure your expectations are realistic on both sides. Oh my gosh, Lamani, you <laughs> there was a whole thing about realistic and um, men love realistically. So that's really a shout out. So, hey Mary Bell. Hey um hey and shout out um to okay so back to the top 10 sorry emotional intimacy physical affection respect commitment communicate openly mm-hmm. being a best friend sexual chemistry Attention. Attention. <laughs> and attention um, while you're communicating. It wasn't talking about gifts or anything like that. It was talking about attention um, while communicating. Trust and mm. forgiveness. Uh, Frank said, what if they had 100000 in their account before dating? Mm. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, so emotional intimacy, physical affection, respect, mm. commitment, communicate openly, best friend, sexual chemistry, um, attention while you're communicating, mm-hmm. trust and forgiveness, which I mean, trust and forgiveness, gosh, the last, all of them are great, right? So just think like outside of maybe sexual chemistry, n- none of those had anything to do with looks. <laughs> Boom. None of those had, and, and I was surprised. I did, I looked at a few different lists or articles, mm-hmm. um, money, and we all know that we're not discounting that money is important in a relationship, right? Right. Um, but it wasn't on either of the lists that I looked at. Okay. Um, and so, because th- I feel like though, again, those things, if you're talking about in a good partner, in a good partner, money, we, we hear it all the time, but money can come and go. And, and, yeah. and to Frank's point, money can come and go. Somebody could have a hundred thousand before someone was dating and you mm-hmm. lost that money. And what if you were, you know, a few years back and it was in real estate and all your money has gone or the stock market. All your money's gone. Yeah. So you just live paycheck to paycheck like the rest of us, right? Yeah. Um, so, but is the are those characteristics um important? And what what's out there like hey Shalane, what's out there? Hey, um look, like what's important to you guys? Anybody who's on right now, what's something that you look for or you know you have that's great in your partner? Um, and you know that that's like a game changer. Or remember your list. Remember the list that you had. Look at your partner. How many of those boxes do they check off on your list of six foot tall or more, uh, $100,000 a year or more, uh, fancy car, nice home, Mm -hmm. uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know, to yourself. Yeah. Look, Look at your partner and be like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> 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 ha, 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 ha. Ah, well, you said thick cut, so I'm still at my hair. <laughs> no, but I really but, agree. So, yeah, if, if you, um, anyone wants to weigh in, uh, but it, do you feel comfortable naming one or two characteristics um, that you think um, really make a good partner? Yeah. That, like, so you, you know, just, things that you would say that are very important and maybe it wouldn't have been as important to you, let's say 10, 15 years ago, or you don't know if you would have called it out 10 or 15 years ago. 
Well, I, I think with with uh, with us, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you've shown loyalty, which was a plus. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, That's a, good one. A, a, a big plus loyalty. Uh, you've been my biggest cheerleader, so supporter, uh, big plus. <laughs> and again, you made a great point. None of this has to do with looks, uh, what you have. It's just you as a person mm -hmm. showed me these things as we were building a relationship, yeah. which has made it stronger. So, yeah, uh, I appreciate yeah. that. Thing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and see, for I just, you know, me, I'm going to definitely say, um, family, you yeah. know, the, and that was something that was really important from the beginning. And, um, Frank said, trust the commitment, selflessness. Oh my goodness. Mm. Yes. And that yeah. was another thing That's my, uh, Anthony brought up earlier about, um, not being as selfish. Yeah. So, um, I think like family and watching you with your family. Yeah. And, Sometimes people say, oh, yeah, I'm all about family. And, oh, okay, yeah, what's your mom up to? Well, I don't know. I've talked to her in a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and uh, yeah. you don't know people's dynamics. So I'm yeah. not saying that that literally means they're not cool with their family. But, yeah. um, you you know, you really walk the walk and talk the talk about family and um, just how you interacted with your family, how you spoke about them and things like that. And we all have family issues. We all have family stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's not even to say about that, but it's about the love that about you have love. for your family and knowing how important family is to the big picture. So that yeah. was really a characteristic that I was looking for. Um, of course, um, a God loving man, um, someone who's spiritual and, um, loves God. And, you know, it, it I think I've told you before, while it helps going to church and walking into a building, mm -hmm. it's really about the actual the you know, spirituality, yeah. right? And yeah. the walk and, and how, you know, just how you're into charity and you're into mentoring and all those things. Not, you know, we've talked before, I think that that's literally your ministry. Mm -hmm. So um, those types of things are very important. And then last but not least, I would say, and I know I, my list could go on and on, trust me. Um, and again, we have to be our disclaimer. We're not perfect. We're not, no. we're perfect. We're not saying our relationship is perfect. We're just, um, you know, just highlighting yes. those things um, here, of course. And then, um, but also the protection, right? So I think, mm. again, and that kind of goes back to the, I mean, the 6-1 or the, the the money is it is that some type? Of, I think we all have to be honest with ourselves. Why do I want that? And is it if it's to feel protected or stable or secure? Yeah, it doesn't have to come in those ways, right? It could come no. in different ways. And and you've shown me like just feeling protected. I mean, like it's priceless to be honest. And it's something that you can't really talk about until you have it mm -hmm. or you don't have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. say that you, you don't have it or you have it. But that's where you're like, okay, I just feel protected. And you, like, just you feel were protected. saying loyalty yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Um, I think that's something where it's like, okay, that I feel like you always have my back and, and you're supported. So hopefully everybody knows uh, and can can uh, figure out what they have in their mate currently. You yeah. could also um, say like maybe what has been in a past relationship that you've liked, right? Mm -hmm. um, or that you're looking for. So feel free to you know, still definitely weigh in. Uh, put things in the comments. We could always yeah. see whether it's on my Facebook, his Facebook, the he said, she said. Uh, we kind of do want to give more. I do, I do want to make a plug for he said, she said uh, Facebook page because yeah. when we, uh, if more people go there, then when people make comments, we can see um, all at once. Everyone can see everyone's comments. And yeah. so that's why we sometimes try to go to different ones um, and um, just want to make sure that. But any any avenue, to be honest, that people yes. are, are definitely tuning in, we appreciate. As usual, guys, um, people um, that tell us they watch the podcast, we're very um, appreciative. appreciative yeah. um, again, this is good for us. It's also, um, we just think it's kind of just something it's good to have a dialogue about. And kind of like yeah. this, I mean, I think it's something that I have a few friends that... Um, are single and I, I, you know, for a long time in my life, I was single and wanted to be married. And um, I think I've said before that I had a couple of good friends, um, at least three, that would always be like, okay, well, which, what are you looking for? Like right. be specific. Be like, specific. Right. Ask God exactly what you're looking for. 
and you know looks and everything wasn't on there but i right. had one friend in particular erica was always like are you being specific i mean it is everybody knows erica she's funny <laughs> so she would just go right. I, I just need to know you're telling god exactly what you're looking for i mean she was right. like that and she's like no not just i want a husband like what do you want yeah. and so um what kind of characteristics? And so I think that's another thing. And especially, you know, now at this point, guys, we're talking about over 35, right? So you all right. are thinking some of that stuff, you you know, because you've had, we've all kissed some toads, as my best friend likes to say. <laughs> so a uh, kiss some frogs. So we know what we're not looking for right? Um, sometimes, but we need to be more specific about what we are looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know I, w I was saying that, you know, that I wanted a wife and then meeting you, you know, I wasn't paying attention at first to what you were saying, but you would say, I want to be a wife. Mm -hmm. I'm used to hearing, I want to get married. I want to have a big wedding. I want to mm -hmm. get married. But you kept saying, oh, I want to be a wife. Mm -hmm. And then God just like, I'm trying to give you <laughs> <laughs> what you're asking for. And I kept trying to run away from it. And uh, eventually, you know, uh, I got it, got it together. I, but the point that I'm making, she was right next to me and she kept saying, I want to be a wife. And I was wanting a wife. Mm -hmm. And again, everyone else is saying, oh, I want to get married. I want to, you know, they would talk about the wedding and talk about the dress and right. they wouldn't talk about being a wife. Mm -hmm. So to your point, if you're specific about what you're asking for, mm -hmm. it will come to life. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody. It's been a good talk. Thank you, Nedra. Thanks. Um, thanks everybody for right tuning in. in. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Chris. Thanks everybody that weighed in, and thanks for you people even just tuning in again. Keep putting the comments in, and we will see you next week. And forgive me for stumbling at the beginning. I was trying to be funny. I was just trying to be funny. Love you. <laughs> Look, I already forgot. <laughs> Uh -huh. list? Yeah, yeah, the top five list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tune in next week. Tune in next week. Uh, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. And uh, thanks everybody, and appreciate it. And definitely, come on, send us some topics and some ideas. We yeah, whatever you guys want to talk about. So trust us, we have a few. Yeah. Um, already in the chamber but yeah uh, we would definitely like to make sure that we're talking about things good. Oh, and if anyone wants to be on the pod. Anybody wants to be a guest on the pod, let us, know. let us know. Let us know. And we can make that happen. You can stay right at home. Yep. We can make it happen. You don't have to leave. Be right in the comfort of your home. So anybody, I know uh, Miss Carolyn said that she would love to be. Uh -huh. So maybe we'll make her our first guest. We'll reach out to her and okay. talk with her. But uh, we have the capabilities of doing that now. Okay, so on our stream. On our stream. Okay, great. Yep. Cool. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Guys. All right. Have a great Till week. Till next week. See ya. Bye.